Coach is Mike Kuchar at www.xandolabs.com. Our special thanks goes out to Coach Floyd, the head coach at Shiloh Christian High School over in Arkansas. We all know the type of reputation that Shiloh Christian had birthplace uh, released prep birthplace of Coach Gus Malzahn. Some of the concepts that he's used at Shiloh Christian are still being carried on today over a decade later. Coach Floyd was Coach Malzahn's quarterback okay, uh, at a prior time. So some of these offensive cut-ups are going to look very familiar to some of you Auburn okay, and some of you uh, Arkansas State fans and other places that Coach Malzahn has been. This is the, the Steeler concept, which is known as the buck sweep concept that they run out of gun. We really like this concept because of the down blocks you're going to get at the point of attack. And uh, coaches, all this information, including the blocking assignments, including the techniques of the blocking assignments and the rules against various fronts, uh, can be accessed by becoming an insider at www.xandolabs.com. You can gain access to all of our full-length research report, clinic reports, and drill cut-ups. So what you can have here is a play side uh, two-back buck sweep, All right, where the, the key block right now is that slot player. Okay, He is going to load or block that inside linebacker, which is key. The fullback is going to be responsible for kicking out the C-gap player, Okay, whoever that defensive end is there. And, of course, uh, a lot of eye candy coming back around the way. You're going to get orbit motion come back around the way. Uh, you know, Coach Josh Floyd did mention that, you know, that, that is an option, okay, if you choose to do that, where they have a bubble off of it, where you have a throwback off of it, or just a, a read concept. But right now we're just looking at the run actions of the single back. So there's the down block at the point of attack by the slot receiver. Here comes the play side or backside guard coming to kick out. And the ball, traditional buck sweep fashion, wing tee football coaches know this. You're going to get that plant and head north to south right away. And we do have an end zone shot for you to make it a little cleaner. So since this is a B-gap player, he's going to get blocked down. The fullback's going to log or, log or kick. And Coach Floyd talks about that in the full-length clinic report, the technique he uses to do that. But he's going to log or kick. Okay, that C-gap player, here comes a crack block. You know, Coach mentioned it doesn't have to be a kill shot. doesn't have to be a, a illegal block. Just, you know, as he says, get in his way. And it's effective. So here comes a crack. Here comes a load by the guard coming over the top, and you have a play side guard coming over the top, and the backside guard coming through. Double fake by the quarterback. The trips formation, same concept again. Okay, and what you want to do with that fullback in the sniffer line, it's going to help because he's working to kick out that C gap player. Here's a down block. Okay, here comes the crack by number two. He's going to load on the first inside linebacker. Here comes the guard coming over the top to block the force player. And you see right now it's a pretty good job by this defensive player. He's going to try to get it stretched. All right, but at that point the back's just going to stick his foot in the ground. you got two guys playing the same gap on defense, and he's going to hit it north to south. Like any other run scheme, you're really looking for that cutback or where you get a chance to just go north and south right away. A lot of wing T offenses pride themselves on that in the buck sweep that they're able to do that. I'm going to freeze this up for you. Clip happens a little quickly. Okay, again, uh, a one back set. In this scenario, you have trips here to the bottom of the screen. What's going to happen now is you're going to have a double log concept where he is number two is still going to work for the inside backer. Okay, this still get, could be considered that fullback. You know, and that depends on what you want to do with personnel. If you do want to switch your personnel, that could just be a number three receiver. He is still going to block defensive end. He is acting like a fullback. Okay, here's the inside crack block. Play side guards looking to come around and block force. We'll get a better shot at the end zone. So there's the fullback in position to handle that defensive end. Okay, here comes a crack block inside by number two. The fullback would be number three in this situation. Here's number two. Here comes the pulling guard. Okay, he is going to block the alley player. Backside guard's out as well. You know, as you see, I mean, it doesn't take much of a block by this player. I mean, 54, the inside linebacker, gets snaked up in there. All he has to do is stay in front of him. It's like setting a pick in basketball, as Coach refers to Coach Floyd in the full-length clinic report which you can access on the website xandolabs.com. This one we really like because this, re this reminds us of the typical wing tee 
buck sweep except it's out of gun because of the angles you're going to get. It's a much cleaner picture here. Okay, so here's a C-gap player. Okay, there's a defensive end that's going to get kicked. Here comes a fullback. He is going to work to kick or log that defensive end. Here comes number two. Number two is going to work to pin the first play side inside backer. Okay, play side guard, walking around, logging around to take care of this player. And once that happens, I mean, you have a, a back one-on-one -on -one with a two deep safety advantage back. Now, what I like happens here, when you watch what happens here, the back sees it. He's able to stick his foot in the ground. Okay, that safety, who's probably playing force, is not in a good position to work his feet back inside, and the ball gets back inside of him for a big play. Just a really good concept, I and mean, you don't have to be a wing T team to run this concept. It's all about angles. It's a pin and pull scheme is really all it is out of the gun formation, and you're just finding more more players to bring to the point of attack than the defense has. It's really all it's in, like, like in most football, it's a numbers game. Okay, so we'll get a better shot at it here. Okay, there's defensive end that's going to get kicked out by that fullback. Look, he's in perfect position the way it is right now. And what I like about Coach Floyd's report is he actually talks about varying ways to put that fullback to make sure that player tries to get gets kicked out. And there's number two receiver. He's working to crack inside. And there it is, and it actually looks like he doesn't get kicked out. Fullback just needs to log him in that situation, and you're going to get your hole. And we all know what happens there. This last one I want to show you, Coach, is from a tight end formation. I believe Coach Floyd calls this Uno. Uh, it's a good answer for teams with a 6 eye or 7 technique playing defensive end. So now you're just going to have that down block on that C-gap player by that tight end. So there really there is no need for the fullback kick out. It's the same concept. Okay, you're going to see the number one receiver come in motion. He is still going to do what he has to do. Okay, and crack block that first play side inside backer. Let's see how this develops. Okay, so there's a tight end. Okay, on the seven technique, here comes a crack by number two. You're leaving that corner on the island, which is scary for that corner. Here comes that big play side guard to take care of him. Okay, which he does. Got some over pursue. The ball cuts back. And that's what you want. Typical wing tee buck sweep football. The ball is going to cut back. Running back makes a couple people miss, and it's a huge play for Shiloh Christian. There it is. There's a block. You know, and again, a lot of times that inside linebacker is going to get sucked up there naturally. It doesn't take much for number two to make sure that he just stays in front of him. The ball gets cut back. Coaches, that's just a part uh, of the full-length clinic report, which you can access by becoming an insider member at www.xandolabs.com. We have Shiloh Christian's uh, at least 15 clips of the buck sweep concept out of shotgun, including all their formations, especially empty, which I think is a really good idea. If you have, Even if you don't have a running quarterback, you're going to get creases, you're going to get alleys, especially at the high school level, and that kid's probably a pretty good athlete. Uh, coach write, writes up and how he blocks this buck sweep concept out of empty as well. We appreciate you logging in, coaches. Good luck continuing to research this offseason.